And, you know, I think there needs to be more queer paranormal romance in the world. Hello there and welcome to another emotion tag video. Now, uh, for some backstory, uh, for those who don't know, this tag was originally created uh, in 2012 by uh, Padfoot and Prongs 07. I cannot find the original video. Here we are. Now, I love the premise of it, but <laughs> I am extra AF and I also struggle to pick out one book. So I made things more complicated. So instead of answering uh, a list of questions and uh, doing one book each, I will be doing a video per emotion. We'll be starting off with Robert Puchik's uh, theory that defines the eight basic emotions. Uh, and if people like it uh, and if I'm enjoying it, we will continue on and go to, you know, the more complicated one. Today's emotion is anticipation. First up, I actually have two books, but they're really very similar. So I kind of grouped them together. We have the home edit. The reason that these are under anticipation is because I was obsessed with the home edit show on Netflix and I like organization emotionally, but mentally my mind doesn't. End of last year, I really got into the kick of organization, clearing out space, uh, figuring out how to not feel like a mess all the time. And uh, the reason that I really actually my favorite of the two is the home edit life. It's the newer one because not it kind of covers a lot of things that apply more to me than, uh, you know, organizing toys or uh, like home things because I don't own a home um, or have any children. For example, there's organizing your phone and the apps on it. I also really love Rainbow, which is really important. Um, in my life. It also talks about organizing electronics, which came in handy when I decided for Christmas to get my boyfriend a bunch of, uh, you know, a, the acrylic fancy, not fancy, but like off brand, uh, acrylic clear organizational tools and such. So if you ever are in need of a way to really motivate yourself to organize, uh, this is it. These are, these women know what they're doing. They're not like, what brings you joy organization. It's more of like, do you really need four of the same thing? No, you don't. Um, and also like getting me out of the guilt feeling of um, keeping gifts that I'm never going to wear or use. And next we have another Felicia Day book, Embrace Your Weird. This is her newest book. It's not necessarily a memoir. Really, it is like a book that makes you um, participate and not just reading. Now, I actually haven't finished this book because mental illness, um, because it does require you to um, embrace your weird and sort of get through blocks of creativity. So if you are a person that regularly utilizes creativity or wants to unlock your creativity, this is it. This book reminds me anticipation, partly because I wanted to buy it, but also because I am anxious and interested in how uh, it helps me creativ creativity, creatively uh, in the future and what comes of it. Now this next one is actually one of five books and uh, it's a series that um, I've read once through and is from when I was younger. When was this published? This was published uh, in 2006. It's Blue is for Nightmares. It's a series. This was when I just entered high school. It addresses uh, coming of age, but also it has magic and it talks about grief and death and topics that are more serious. So I highly recommend checking out this series. It's older. Uh, I haven't reread it recently and I really do want to. It does also have uh, murder in it. So it is kind of a murder mystery, but for young adults. Speaking of young adults, we have the Gallagher Girl series. Now this is the first book of it. Um, as you can tell, I have it has a stain on it <laughs> because I've, I've read a lot of this. This was a series that I would buy almost instantly upon it being released. Um, it is a series I need Netflix to pick up and make a show out of. Please and thank you. And if you're interested in a book series that is about strong uh, young women who are also spies, 
this is it. It actually gets pretty serious later on in, in the later books um, to the point that you might cry. And next is a series that I actually am still reading and haven't finished the last book because I don't want it to end. It is the Widdershin series. Um, this is the first book. I didn't, I had them on my shelf for a while before I actually read the first one and then immediately continued to read the second one. The anticipation comes from being <laughs> on the hold list for the library. I love this series because it is about a strong main female character who is also uh, a thief and, you know, the typical rogue kind of, uh, but it has more of a twist to it and it's more of like a medieval steampunk vibe. And the final book for this video is actually an anthology, The Other Side. Uh, this is an anthology of queer paranormal romance by uh, Melanie Gilman and Corey Michelle Handworker. And it is a graphic novel anthology. And it literally is what it says, it's literally what's on the cover. Uh, it is uh, a bunch of queer romance stories that are also paranormal focus. And you know, I think there needs to be more queer paranormal romance in the world. And uh, that's all I have actually for this list. I could probably go on further, but I need to stop myself. If you have any book that or series that uh, gives you the feeling of anticipation from its plot or just the book itself, uh, comment that down below. If you liked this video and you want more of it, let me know as well. Give this video a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Head on over to Patreon for uh, more behind the scenes things, uh, and me telling that you that I love you. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep on shining, storyteller.